Yesu FTA850. So let's just show you how to get it into VFO mode, memory mode, then add a memory channel. So VFO mode is just pressing comms here. Now you can go menu and then go up, across, enter and you're in com and you can see that the ones that do have memory names you can see that listed if you press the enter again see the frequency now 130625 press it again it swaps with the top one or you can go down and select so memory mode so let's find just put in a random frequency so we'll go 126 uh, 6 Two, five. Okay, random frequency. Hold down save. We can name it by pressing enter. We turn and select either numbers or letters. And then every time we press the down arrow, we can select them again and again. Okay, and keep going all the way across. When it gets to finish, press enter. You've got the name, you've now got the chance here to just have a quick look through and put in your location and decide if you want it to be in the scan group. Just go to on, add some location if you want. Just and then enter, enter. It doesn't like the, um, the location, so we'll just go back. We'll leave that blank. We'll go down to save and press enter. Saving. So you've now saved a memory channel. We're back on comms, which is VFO. We go menu, and this time we're going to go to memory. There's memory there. Okay, we're now going to show all our memory channels, and we can hit scan if we want. We can go function, and then two for scan, function, then two. And it's going to scan. It's not going to scan anything because there's no antenna connected. But you can see it's scanning. The next thing I'll do is show you the how to add memory channels using the programming software. So while I'm here, I'll just quickly show you where the connection is for the micro USB lead, which there is one supplied in the box. And that's just here. Okay, make sure you put it in the right way around. And you can hear my PC there. And we'll take you over to the computer. To put it into programming mode, you need to turn it off. Hold down the squelch and turn it on. And the screen will say CP mode. You, you now have a serial connection to your computer. Here we are at the computer. We go right click device manager to show you the connection to the USB. Click double click port and we're there, FTA850 COM13. The software, if we go to the Yesu site here, go to files, download and click YCE46 and there are instructions here as well. Once you've done that, we've, we've uh, added a shortcut here. Click yes and this is what the software looks like. Okay, so we get that a bit bigger. It's actually very basic software, really. So just options, port, remember 13, that's been selected. So we're now gonna look here. We're gonna go read from radio. Transfer, read from radio, and click start. It's gonna read what is on this radio. There's, there's only a couple of channels. Now, if, if you want to look up these kind of frequencies, just, just go to Chrome. There's plenty of places to, to find the frequencies that you would want to, to listen to. Uh, right, okay. So, uh, memory book. Go to memory book. And there's just a couple of ones here. Now, that they are just random ones that I've chosen. So, if you want a new one or add one, you just click new. Name, or just put, uh, put a random name in Western, like so. Frequency one two uh, six nine five zero. It does put the dot in for you. You can put it into a group. You could put in your location if you like. Put it into the scan memory, 
add a shift if you want and then save so you've added a new one or you can go to an existing one like see the one here called mark we can go edit we can just change the name slightly and the other items save and we can even delete one if we go here we can go delete yes okay i'll just quickly show you the other settings that you can see you've got weather channels here memory group names group one i just put airways just i'm just picking any name at random okay more advanced is the root memory book this is just very basic of adding memories options help file print you've got print to file save as save xml file so you can open an xml file i don't think i've got an xml xml file here but i think if you save your file save i just randomly save something there save i think that is an xml file file open the xml can't seem to find one we'll have to learn more about that one read options port helps so then you can just write to the radio program to radio start and so now in your radio list you'll just see those extra couple of names quickly go back to the radio and then we'll finish the video thanks for watching back at the radio just unplug the usb go back to normal mode by turning it off then on enter go it's it's stayed in in memory mode and hopefully they're there so there's one that we called western and then we edited the one that was marked didn't we called mark I'm sure it's there somewhere. We deleted one as well. So that's it. And then to go back to VFO mode, let's go comms and you're back into there. If you want to scan, you go F and two. Obviously there's a lot more functions within this device. Go menu, you've got the comms, you've got dual receive, just go enter, you get dual menu. You've got your memory mode, weather, weather channels there again, as you can see menu compass menu navigation section menu time as a stopwatch and then you've got full setup menu there memory book comms gps setup which when there's a lock is very good you get all this information and Bluetooth, which is easy, enter, go to new, enter, and you can search for Bluetooth. More configurations there, as you can see, like your lamp and your dimmer, and even reset back. You look at the version of firmware you've got as well. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Bye for now.